Welcome back to Citizens Forum. I'm Will Smith, and my guest today is Julia Minorchio. And I don't know Julia well. I just met her this weekend. We were both at a natural house building uh, class, and it was up at Shawnigan Lake, the e our eco village, and it was run by Elke Cole. And she is just a wonderful teacher. She had us sit in the class and learn things, and also brought us outside to the different buildings that are at our eco village. So we really got uh, a hands on, we got the, the theory, and then we also got to see how to do it. So welcome to the show, Julia. And I'd just like to, I, I really enjoyed uh, your comments during the, the class. We, we really had a good class. I, I mm. felt like it was about 20 people, right? Or maybe yeah, a few, a few less. Like that. And uh, we, we had some kind of camaraderie built in. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't awkward or anything, maybe because we're all there. Could you just tell us why you came to that class a little bit? Do you want to you um, build your own house? Yeah, I do want to build my own house. I've always wanted to build my own house. Um, and as my parents get older, I have to consider um, what, it, what it might look like if I also had them living with me and um, what the possibilities are for that. So and uh, I'm interested in all kinds of uh, alternative building methods. So learning about the earth building and all the different kinds of related buildings, cob, straw bale. Yeah, we like went that. over, we went over yeah. uh, cob and chip and or slip and chip mm -hmm. and uh, straw bale mm -hmm. and what Rammed else? Earth. Rammed earth, yeah. yeah. And then there were the earth, we did mention the earth ships, which are made out earth of old ship. tires and yeah. stuff. So. And the earth bags too. Earth bags, mm -hmm. yeah. Ram that's uh, where they just pack the earth into mm -hmm. a bag and then stack them. Yeah, we saw yeah. that in in Africa. And Nepal too, I think. And Nepal, yeah, yeah, right. Oh yeah, those are popular in Nepal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your your desire is for, I mean for me, I'm I'm uh, I'm fixed income and I don't own a house anymore, but I'm, I'm interested in living more in community mm -hmm. with other people as I've expressed on here. And it seems like the same type of people who are interested in community are also <laughs> interested in building these natural houses, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So what did you take away? What was your main, did you have a particular style of house that you liked? Um, I'm also really interested in timber frame building and I wanted to see how those two things might mesh. Um, mm -hmm. So what I really took away from the course is that, um, well, something that I've always known but I love to see reaffirmed that people can and should build their own houses. Yeah, it's kind of a thing, isn't it, to, to yeah. get your own vibe you in the house and the way you want it? Get your own it. vibe, get things the way you want it. Every time a, a person buys a house, um, they're enslaving themselves to a bank. Right. And they're getting something that's a compromise. So if you can design your own space for your own needs, the way you like it, the way you want to live, and you know, if you can also manage to save any money doing so, more power to you. Yeah, that was one of the one of the points that Elke made was that the cost of such a house is not necessarily less if you unless you do it yourself. But but we did get a, a good idea seeing her videos and seeing her pictures that mm. that there are there are people who do this. Yeah. That, that, so you get your friends together and yeah. you, and you do this. So that was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I really liked about it was the fact that that the artistry of mm -hmm. the house is sort of built into the project. You don't, it's not something that you tack on mm -hmm. afterwards, but you're, you're actively putting these uh, beautiful designs into, and mm -hmm. you can use, if you use clay, you can actually work it with your hands, where as if, you, if you've ever tried anything with concrete, you know that your hands just get destroyed. So mm -hmm. I love the, some of the beautiful clay work, and they had dragons and embedded glass. Yeah, there's lots of sculptural possibilities. Um, and that also appeals to me. I like getting my hands dirty. And she also um, was talking a lot about how to save energy, right? Mm -hmm. So to to build the house with that in in mind from right. the, the very beginning. Yeah, uh, that appealed to me. Yeah, me too. The whole idea of um, passive housing. Passive solar. Yeah. Yeah. Like why why wouldn't you? You know, I think those kinds of considerations have to become fundamental. We keep building these stick houses with two by fours and crappy insulation and they're not healthy and they're not sustainable so why not do better? 
Well, there was some, there was one house I thought that was particularly applicable to VC because it had sort of a wood frame. Was it, I can't remember, was it over straw or what was that over the? There was one, are you talking about the one that had like a, it was a timber frame framework and then it was like straw bale infill kind yeah, of? Yeah, that's what it yeah. was, yeah. I yeah. thought that one was really applicable to here because yeah. I mean, there's a lot of timber. <laughs> yeah, there's a so. lot of timber. There's um, there's a timber framing course that I'm interested in taking in the spring. I have to research a little bit more about that um, because that really appeals to me. Because then the you don't have to worry if you don't have to worry about your earth or straw walls being structural. Right. Then I think it's a lot easier to convince um, an engineer that your building is gonna be okay, and so then you have more flexibility that way. Yeah, that, that was also uh, one of the things that I took away from that is mm -hmm. that, the, that in, especially in BC, we're not so uh, encouraging of people to do experimental housing. We want somebody to sign off on it. Yeah. And so to make a traditional wood frame structure where everything is known by all engineers easily and then be able to infill this straw bale, that sounded like a, a good way to go. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm not a purist. I think that <laughs> <laughs> you have to do what you're able to do, Sure. you know? If you need to pour a concrete slab as your foundation and then you want to build earth on top of it, that's a step in the right direction. Right. Even though some people are super anti-concrete and I know it's not the most environmentally friendly material out there, but you but know, the every step in that direction is a is a step in the right direction. Yeah, that's how I, I mean, that's, I've had, I drive a Prius and, you oh, know, nice. people have criticized me for driving a Prius mm -hmm. because it's not totally electric and I said, well, this is from 2004 and they yeah. were doing the best they could. Well, if you so. have a car that's 15 years old and it's on the road, you're doing a good thing. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Because it's not in the landfill, so I drive a 2002 Honda Civic. Oh, uh, well, there you go. Yeah, same type of thing. So, so how did you get, so you've had wanted this to do this all your life? Mm -hmm. So did you move, I know you moved here from Ontario, right? Yeah. So did you move out here with that idea, part of it, or with that um, vision? Yeah, well, one of the things that I noticed is that um, all of the things that I'm interested in, like natural building, communal living, there's more of a headspace around that out here, on, on the island particularly, and it's, it's, I just feel like there's a bigger community of like-minded people and it's less kind of, less having to even educate people about the possibilities because there are people who already know about right. it. Whereas if you talk about this kind of stuff in Ottawa, sometimes people just kind of like, what do you mean <laughs> you want, what are you talking about, what? So there like, is a big know. cultural difference. Yeah, yeah. So, so how long did it take you to plan to, to move out here? Was it uh, sudden? Not long. My mom had a hard winter. Um, you know, in Ottawa, you can be marooned indoors for seven months out of the year. Right. And um, after that winter, I started saying maybe we should think about moving somewhere with a nicer climate, St. Catharines or Niagara, somewhere like that. And she was kind of like, why would we stay <laughs> in Ontario when Victoria exists? And I said, you really mean that? You really want to go? Yeah, yeah, I meant to go. And then I got knocked up with you and I never went, la, la, la. <laughs> and I said, if you mean it, I'll make it happen, but you have to really mean it. And she said, I mean it. I said, okay. So I started making the plan to come out here. That was in like January. I think that's very interesting too, that it's a fairly sudden decision. Because yeah. uh, I think that there, you know, people are, it's like elephants heading for the mountains when there's a tsunami. It's <laughs> like people are, you know, the, the person that was here before you was from Extinction Rebellion. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's saying it, people aren't awake. They don't get what's going on. And so, but some people are, and they're saying, hey, wait a minute, i got to move somewhere else. Yeah, and it, it might seem sudden and drastic, but to me it is basic survival in a lot of ways. Yeah, you know? basic. I think that's a key point, basic survival. That's what we're all faced with. We've got all these... Uh, politicians, leaders, mm. but really they're followers. They're following us. We're the ones who are making, who are changing our, our culture. We're the ones who are saying, we've got to do something different. So, yeah, I mean, people forget the politicians work for us. Yeah. They're supposed to do what we want. That's why they exist. Do. And if we're not making that happen, then there's something wrong with the system. And so, we have to do what we can to make our lives work the way they're supposed to. Right. Like as autonomous people. I don't so know. it's obvious to you, and it's, it's obvious, obvious to me, to me yeah. and it's obvious to a lot of people who live here. And mm -hmm. I'm not trying to say that 
everybody else that are, you know, <laughs> not feeling things, but but it does seem to be this area. And you had a you uh, you had a friend too who sort of happened to move yeah. out here. So yeah. it's really interesting. I think that this is this is a time when we're trying to pretend that we know what's going to happen, but we really don't. And no. some people some people are sensitive to that and mm. are taking. Uh, you know, I know I know that I'm interested in moving to a place. I, I don't mind building it, but I don't have as much physical prowess mm. as I used to. But I think I could find people that would help me. And I'm interested in living more in community, whether mm. that's with family or with, with other people who, who share my mm. uh, ideas, <laughs> my yeah, ideals. Sure. And I see this this is the, the place where it we is. can do that. It just seems obvious and natural. I walk into a store and they'll have some kind of service that's totally unheard of out east. Be like, but of course it exists here. So how did you find out about uh, about uh, Elke Cole's course and Shawnigan? Um, the Mud Girls Collective. Oh, the Mud Girls Collective Facebook page. Okay. Actually, yeah, and I think I actually shared it with Carla, my friend, who all simultaneously moved out here. And th there's so many things going on, and you know, when you click on things on Facebook events that are coming up that you're interested in, I probably click click on ten of them a day, and then Carla messaged me and said this is coming up are we going to do it and I said oh really you want to do it yeah let's do it so we did it and so glad that we did it was really inspiring and there's another one coming up in March mm -hmm. in case anybody is interested in uh, I'll put that mm -hmm. uh, that uh, it's at it will be also at the uh, our eco village at Shawnigan Lake which is only about an hour from here I think. not even like not even an hour minutes, yeah something so like that. if anybody yeah. else is is interested in pursuing this and, and they the thing about going there is that it's not just theory you get to no, see get these to houses see that, that she has built and others have built over the years and you can hear the good the bad and the ugly because sometimes they did yeah. something that they regretted later and we spent yeah. a good deal of time talking about mistakes ab about the mistakes and about how you have that. to plan for the sunshine and the views and everything else I thought it was fascinating that we but also be real reasonable about your needs yes you know? And not and not uh, not be locked into a mm -hmm. certain particular way of organizing your living space, mm -hmm. the, the traditional. Yeah. Home. If you don't really use a dining room, why have a dining room? Right. Yeah, so that that really was a good. I, I would even go to that. I think I'd even go to that course again. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because if if I, uh, I I didn't feel really good that day, and I'd I'd like mm -hmm. to be more involved in the in the hands-on stuff, and I had to stay back some of the time. But I really do think it was a, a good course. It was surprisingly good to me. Mm -hmm. I, I was engaged the whole time, which for yeah. two days, that's a long time to sit there. But yeah, I can't usually sit through But it was, it was interesting. So and we did get to walk around yeah, and see that. I love the way she broke it up with that kind of thing and not just sitting and listening. I think one of the main points that I'd like to bring out is that it's important if you're going to do something like that here to get with the, uh, the municipality or mm. whatever it is that you're going to do because things are more difficult here. You can't, in some of the places I've lived, you can build something and then get forgiveness for it. Yeah, and they Southern don't do Italy that here. Like that. So. People build up and up and up and they, you know, pay fines all the way. Right. They just <laughs> do it however they're going to do it and they don't worry about it too much. Right. You know? So, Was well, there anything else you'd like to say about the course? I, nothing comes to mind. All right. Well, thank you very much yeah, for my pleasure. Thanks talking for having about me. this. It's really interesting. And thank you for watching Citizens Forum.